Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial video, we will learn how to custom create shapes in PowerPoint using this feature called edit points. This is part 2 of edit point. In case you haven't seen part 1, do check it out. I am sharing the link in the description box. In part 1, we had learned how to custom create straight shapes with sharp edges. But today in this video, I will teach you how you can use edit point to even create flowy and curvy shapes. Not only that, we will also learn how to insert pictures into these custom created shapes and design thousands of layout. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. So all those people who do not know what edit point is, I am going to give you a quick demo of that first. So edit point is a tool that can help you create custom shapes. So for example, this is a square shape as you can see, right click, edit point and the edges suddenly become editable. So you can create any shape now, playing and maneuvering these edit points. Another beautiful thing about edit point is that you can also add points. So for example, if I right click and do edit point, I want to add a point over here, I can just right click and do add point. And this also becomes like an editable point. If I want to add a point over here, I can just do right click, add point and this becomes an edit point as well. So that's the basic of edit point. Now if you want to see more in detail, as I mentioned, you can check out the part one and the link is going to be in the description box. Now what if you want to create something like this, like this curved side that you see. Can we do that in edit point? Well, we absolutely can. Let me show you how. So I'm going to put a shape over this, a basic four sided rectangular shape. Whenever you're tracing a shape, always keep shape fill zero so that you can see the background and trace the shape with outlines. We'll give outline a red color so that it's easily visible. Right click, edit point. And now I'm going to match the end points. Once that is done, I'm going to put an edit point in the center. I'm going to add a new point. Right click, add a point and match it to the shape in the background. Now my shape is fine, but I need that curve. How do you achieve that? Now this is the key. Right click on the new point that you have added and click on smooth point instead of corner or straight point. Because you need a point which is curvy, which is smooth, which is flowy, right? So click on smooth point and look at this. Suddenly this has become smooth. Now what you need to do is play with these tentacles. So each edit point has these two legs that you can actually play with like this. And you can fix how you want the shape to look like. And look at this. I'm going to put it on a new slide so that you all can see. You can change the color. You can put a picture in the background. and your slide is ready. You can also insert a picture into this which we will see in some time. Now let's try it once again with this slide. If you want to create something like this, we will follow the similar pattern. Insert the shape. Shape fill 0. Shape outline red. Right click, edit points, matching the edges, we will add a new point in the center, so right click and add point and now all we need to do is click on this point and smooth point. Let's fix the shape, perfect, now on the other side. And we are done. I'm going to copy this on the new slide so that you all can see. And our shape is done. Now let's try to recreate this and I'll also teach you how to insert pictures into these sort of shapes which you're customizing and which you're editing yourself. 
So in order to create this shape, first of all, I'm going to again bring a rectangular box over here. Shape is zero. Right click and edit points. Right click edit points. Matching the edges first. Now we are going to add a point in the center. Right click and smooth point. In this case we won't have to do much. As you can see, so I'm just going to quickly match and trace the shape. And we're almost done. Let's put it on new slide. Now, if we want to insert a picture into this, we will use this technique called intersect. This technique can help you insert picture into custom created shapes. So let's say you want to insert this image. I'm going to send the image to back. You can fix the image and decide what part of the image do you want to cover. Now see this very carefully. Click on the image first. Press Ctrl. Click on the shape. It's very important to choose the image first. If you click on the shape first, it wouldn't work. So click on the image. Press Ctrl. Click on the shape. Go to shape format. Merge shapes and intersect. Look at this, you've got this beautiful layout. Now let's say you want to change the image inside this. You won't have to do the exercise again. Just make a copy, right click and change picture. So now I can just choose the picture that I want. You can also crop the area. If I click on crop at the top, I can decide what part do I want. Let's do the same thing with these two slides that we created. So if I want to insert a picture here instead of this and I want to place my text over here, I can get the image, insert picture, decide the image that you want to insert, send to back, make your shape fill zero so that you can see what part of the image do you want. Click on the image very very importantly. First click on the image, press Ctrl, click on the shape, shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And look at this, you've got this beautiful layout. So imagine the number of layouts you can create using this tool. You could create something like this or maybe something like this. Let's try this last one. I'm going to again insert a basic rectangular shape over here. Shape fill 0, shape outline red. Right click, edit points. In the center, I'm going to add a point. In here also, I'm going to add a point. Now let's make it a smooth point and fix the shape. This will take some time and some practice for all of you to do, but trust me, once you start using this, this becomes such a life savior. We'll do the same thing over here. Right click, smooth point. Let's fix the shape. And now we are going to copy it on a new slide. Let's insert an image into this. I'm going to insert this image. Send to back. Decide what part do you want to keep. Right click on the image, press Ctrl, click on the shape. Once you have selected both, click on shape format, merge shapes and intersect. And look at this. You have got yourself a perfect slide with a beautiful layout. So you can create slides like this, shape like this using a red point. You can create slides like this with this beautiful and very unique image put into a shape. You could create a team slide or a slide where you want to cover multiple points and use this beautiful shape. 
or you could create something like this. So again, the number of layouts you can create with these two tricks, which is edit points and intersect is just unlimited. So do not restrict yourself. See and experiment as to what all you can do. And trust me, you are going to be using this trick in each and every presentation. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to make video on any particular PowerPoint topic, do let me know and I'll surely make one. Do share your feedback in the comments. I would love to know how did you find the video? Did you like it? Do you think you'll be using it? Thank you so much. I'm going to see you soon in my next video.